home from Southampton. Um, I'll be honest, I was completely and utterly shattered at the game today. Um, apologies that there wasn't much footage. Um, I just couldn't uh, bring myself to record, basically. I was absolutely shattered, um, having had a heavy uh, Saturday night, but still enjoyed it. Um, you know, going to Southampton away and having all those excellent players getting booed all the time and going there and just pretty much just, you know, comfortably winning 2-0. Um, it was lovely. It was lovely, lovely, lovely result. Uh, Van Dijk, obviously the uh, the pantomime villain at St Mary's, but he played really, really well. Um, didn't let the booze phase him, and I thought the whole defence actually was really, really solid. Trent Alexander Arnold, uh, Andy Robertson both had great games. Karras was good in goal. Um, made a few decent saves, although he wasn't really, really tested at any real point. Um, the midfield was fine without Jordan Henderson. I thought Emery Chan played pretty well. Jeannie Van Alden played very well. Um, Oxlade Chamberlain did okay until he was um, replaced on the hour mark. And obviously the front three did really well. And um, uh, Firmino and Salah in particular combining uh, for both goals. Um, Salah's goal was just glorious. Firmino's little back heel. Salah's lovely finish uh, to make it 2-0. Firmino scored the, uh, the first one uh, on about five minutes in. Um, which kind of set the tone. It was just a really comfortable, not nothing spectacular, um, you know, not 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 a performance that will live long in memory. But um, I, I I love these little comfortable away wins. It was it reminded me a lot of Huddersfield um, and and Stoke. You know, a couple of away games we had this season where we've just gone in, not set the world alight, but just sort of done enough to pick up the three points, and that's all you can really ask for. Um, so Hunter and away has been a there's been a fixture where we've not necessarily done that well in recent years. I recall last season the 0-0 draw of Endic having a blinder there. Um, I recall going to the 3-2 defeat a couple of seasons ago when Mane scored two for Southampton. Um, so it's nice to be, it's nice to get a, a pretty clean, comfortable 2-0 win. And with United losing, with Arsenal losing, um, Chelsea still to play. It's a great weekend of results, it really is. Um, United are still well within touching distance, of course. Um, we've got to go to Old Trafford, and you know, you'd, there's no reason why we can't go there and do some damage. And uh, you know, I think finishing above them is still very much uh, on the cards. Arsenal, you you might feel with nine points the gap now that they're kind of finished, as far as top four is concerned, or as far as catching us is concerned. So, you know, I guess the teams we need to be thinking about if if, if we're looking at our rivals now are Spurs and Chelsea, and Chelsea are very much uh, heading the wrong way as far as their form's concerned. Um, not sure what they're going to do about their manager. Obviously, the the rumours are rife, and um, Chelsea are not uh, historically a club to hesitate when it comes to getting rid of their manager. So um, if Conte was to leave and someone was to come in as a stopgap between now and the end of the season, uh, that could bode well for them And you know, as far as a, a new manager bounce. Um, Spurs look pretty solid. A great win for them over Arsenal at the weekend. Um, Harry Kane, you know, well among the goals at the moment, and uh, you would kind of fancy them to finish in the top four. Uh, but at whose expense? You know, United have always kind of been City's closest challenges this season. But uh, losing at Newcastle today and uh, Lukaku's not quite in form, and you know, it's. Uh, Alexis Sanchez hasn't quite hit the ground running at United just yet. I'm sure he will do great because he's a phenomenal player. But um, it's all very unpredictable at the moment, and it's and it's exciting. Um, but Liverpool have done all they can today. Um, again, I apologise for not much footage uh, from the game, but it, I was just 
um, trying to enjoy myself. As as I mentioned in the um, Swansea vlog, I wasn't going to be really filming much from these games anymore because um, it takes away from my enjoyment, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, I, I, I got some little snippets and uh, thrilled with the result. So, so next is Porto. Um, that's going to be a fascinating trip. That's going to be a hugely fun trip, I hope. And look, I, I, I will vlog it, of course, but um, how much of it I get, I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, it's time to rest and recuperate for the next couple of days. And then we go again in Porto uh, in the UEFA Champions League last 16. And boy, is that exciting. And the form we're in, uh, we, we really got over that hiccup when we lost against West Brom and Swansea. And we're in the goals again. We're in the uh, we're we're defending well again. So um, that is really really exciting. And I will see you there.